Well, there's a tendency to group all African artists under Afrobeat. African music is so diverse. It's more than just Afrobeat. Yep, that's right. Whiskey have said it. Davido has said it. Even Thames have addressed it. Afrobeat is Nigerian. That's the standard, you know? Without a doubt, congratulations showered like heavy rain after Tyler made yet another history as the first African female to win the Best Afrobeat Awards at the 2024 MTV VMAs for her song, Water. After confidently striking a pose at the UBS Arena in New York on Wednesday, September 11, 2024, the 22-year-old South African pop star continued her streak of dominating African music-related categories at international award shows by bagging the second MTV Music Video Awards for Best Afrobeats. Thank you so much! Oh my gosh! Firstly, thank you. Thank you, my tigers. Thank you. During her acceptance speech, Tyler used the opportunity to educate the global music industry about the rich diversity of African music. The global impact has had on the world just proves that African music can be pop music too. While expressing her gratitude for the awards, she quickly clarified the distinctions between Afrobeats and Ama Piano. Because I know there's a tendency to group all African artists under Afrobeats. Because this is a statement Whiskid has always argued about. On March 17th, 2024, Whiskid lamented that he no longer wants to be called an Afrobeat artist. Taking to his Instagram stories, Big Wiz announced that his next album was done. In the process, he warned that the sound will be different from his earlier ones and shared his frustration with being labeled an Afrobeat artist. He said no matter how good or amazing an Africa makes music, they all get nominated in one category or the other. I have made songs from different genres of music. Made in Lagos is not an Afrobeats album. That's a fusion of different sounds, real music. The word Afrobeat was made by Yao to put we Africans in one box. Legendary Afropop pioneer Fela Kuti created Afrobeats. I make all sorts of music, a fusion of sounds. He lamented. Davido has also addressed the issue and here is what he had to say. I have songs that sound R&B. You know what I'm saying? There are a lot of Nigerian artists back home that do like basically like straight R&B. Like we have like Johnny Drill, Chiki, back then like Banky W. You know what I'm saying? So like we have African R&B. Afro beats, I feel like is the term used to describe us African musicians. I don't think it's the type of music we make or the style of music. Because if you think of like a rapper in Nigeria now, like Odumodu Black, he's doing like straight drill hip hop. But because he's African, and um, we'll call him an Afrobeat artist. Afrobeat is really the original sound which originates from Fela Kuti back in the day. So I think years ago in the UK, you know, UK was one of the first places to like glorify like our type of music. So when they wanted to put us under a genre or describe our music, I think somebody said Afrobeat. And then from there, we just kind of ran with it. Well, it looks like Davido doesn't mind being called an Afrobeat artist, but some people clearly do mind. I come from South Africa. Guys, is Tyler speaking facts? Does there need to be a change? As Afrobeats is for dancing, so every time I'm singing, I just want to dance. Even when I'm singing the heartbreak and the slow songs, I'm still like... So, so yeah. <laughs> Share your opinion with us in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.